What is up guys? Welcome back to another Crypto Camel video. Hope you guys are doing fabulous today. We're going to be going over some exciting updates regarding possible exchanges in the future with Hoj and Doge. We're going to go over some dope tweets over on Twitter. We're going to go over the Certic audit for phase two. There is a delay with that one, but it's going to be coming very soon. Now, if you guys are enjoying these quick updates, remember to smash up the like button and let's just jump right into the video, guys. So Hoj Finance has passed 46,000 holders, which is excellent. The more, the merrier. Let's talk about Certic. So they already passed the phase one of the audit. What's being wrapped up right now is phase two. Now they did say the 24th and I've been talking with uh, different guys in the Hoj community and they're saying that they're just waiting on a final category to be wrapped up with Certic. They're in talks with Certic, but they have said that it's going to take a couple of days because uh, it's going to be delayed over the weekend. So we might not see this for Saturday, Sunday. It could take until Monday. But as soon as the phase two audit drops, you're going to see me make a video and update. And that's looking excellent. As soon as we get that, that's just going to be positive And it's just going to concrete and create permanence around this project. I love Hoj. I'm going to be talking about it in a bull market, in a bear market. You're always going to see updates from me on Hoj Finance. Let's take a look on Twitter. So Hoj Finance over on Twitter. Let's discuss facts. 100 million market cap. Second fastest growing crypto in ETH history, no dev wallets or presale, community driven, NFT marketplace, charity minded, let us be your top dog. So there's a big vision, there's a grander vision, and we want to think of Hoj Finance as a long term uh, trajectory because it's only two months old, I think barely two, two months old. So keep in mind that it's in its infancy, there's so much that it's going to achieve. We got the Vegas campaign coming out soon. We have the NFT airdrop V2, the extended campaign. We have a whole lot of stuff going for Hoj Finance and we're only getting started, guys. So I'm really excited for Hoj and I'm bullish on Hoj for the long term. You know, they've said too, they're not interested in these short-term pumps. It's about the slow and steady wins the race. You know, this is a marathon, not a hundred meter sprint. As we've seen with many other projects, this thing is in it for the long term. You can't spell Hoj without OG. It's so true. And I feel like Hoj is the OG in the meme cryptocurrency space for deflationary, for DeFi. And so many other copycats have come to fruition. But my heart goes out to Hoj. I love Hoj Finance. I'm always going to cover it. All I see is Hoj. You know, all I see is Hoj. Continuing on Twitter, Hoj about to blast off. Now, haters are going to hate. People are going to be like, hey, the project's dead. The project's this. They see dips. And you know what? It's important, guys. There's a lot of psychology in cryptocurrency because in the dips, in the bear market, it really tests your resilience. It really tests your stoicism. It really tests your mentality of holding and having the diamond hands because you really want to look at the true value. What is it that you want from Hoj? You know, what is it the price point that you're looking for? and looking at the roadmap ahead instead of being so short-sighted. Let's band together. This is the Hoj army. This is the Hoj club. Hoj. Hoj. And we're all in this for a lot of similar reasons, but I love the strength of the community and it's really been tested recently because I've been here in the early days. I've been here in the peaks and the dips and I'm going to be holding my Hoj. I haven't sold any Hoj. I've just locked it, set it and forget it. And to piggyback off this point of blasting off, as the barrier of entry becomes easier, the price naturally is going to go higher. So just keep that in mind that there is some pain getting into it right now. But like they say, no pain, no gain. So this brings me to my next point. Hoj and Doge. I love both of them. I see them as brothers. Oh, they're brothers. Oh, all right, all right. You know, Doge paved the way for meme cryptocurrency. Hoj being the first Certic audited meme cryptocurrency in the space with the deflationary approach. There's a great synergy between the two. So this leads me to my next point with Hotbit. So Hotbit is an exchange that's been in discussion on the Telegram group and the team has been speaking with Hotbit and negotiating and it actually is in the works a Hoj and Doge pairing alongside a Hoj and Ethereum pairing, which would be massive in my opinion. That would bring tons of momentum to Hoj and it would bring a lot of eyes to Hoj. And let me know what you guys think about a Hoj and Doge pairing to trade with. 
Now they have a decent amount of volume and Hotbit is available basically globally, US, there's no KYC. There's gonna be an Android and iOS official app on the app stores available very soon. You can download the mobile apps, but it's just an unofficial version. So there's a lot rolling out with Hotbit and they're in negotiation right now with them to have a Hoj and Doge pairing alongside a Hoj and Ethereum pairing. So timeline of their app being released is uncertain, hopefully very soon, sooner rather than later. And the timeline of a deal being negotiated with Hoj team and Hotbit for those two pairings, we don't know yet, but they're already in conversation. They're already talking to one another regarding this. So I'm super stoked about this because I love Doge. There's so much potential with trading Doge and to have them combine with one another, it's like some fire and ice. It's a yin yang. There's amazing synergy that can be done with inflationary Doge and deflationary Hoge. Excellent, super exciting. Let me know what you guys think. One thing I want to kind of segue into, which is a little bit uh, off topic, but still important is where does MetaMask source the tokens price? So if you guys have your funds on MetaMask, this is going to be interesting to you. MetaMask uses CoinGecko. So if you do log into your MetaMask and you're wondering, okay, well, what's that value I'm looking at USD or whatever, it's pulled from CoinGecko. So just a quick tip regarding that. And let's finish off, as always, with one of my most favorite things, which is the burn. When I hop on Hoj.Report, my eyes are just glued to that orange number, the burn. And the past 24 hours, we've burned a low number, but that low number is 78 million Hoj. So something to keep in mind, really, and I think something that's really going to be spearheaded is the burning of Hoj. That's something that's so important, and maybe some people don't understand that we're burning Hoj and the scarcity mindset, and it's becoming more and more rare, it will never reach zero hoj, a very close number to zero, never reach zero, but we're just gonna have more and more burn and a progressively increasing burn. So keep that in mind. And if you're talking to people about hoj, let them know about the burn because that's a big selling point of hoj and that's what got me very excited into hoj. So that's a wrap for the video, guys. We're going to see the Certic Audit Phase 2 drop very soon. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to smash up the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you're alerted of the daily uploads. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have an excellent day.